To do genetic engineering in arthropods normally, you use a microscope and a computer controlled manipulator to inject very small quantities of material into the eggs of arthropods. And so what we've done instead is we've developed a technology where we can take these materials and inject them directly into the body of the female mosquito or other insect so that when she lays eggs, she's laying eggs that are already genetically modified. The equipment to inject eggs can cost anywhere from twenty to fifty thousand dollars and it can take weeks to learn how to use it. The equipment we use to inject the mosquitoes costs about a dollar. It's basically a tube with a little glass needle on the end of it and you can train somebody to do that in about five minutes. Once we know that it's working with the eye color genes, you can then target, in theory, any gene in the genome, anything you want. So a gene that would make the mosquito unable to transmit Zika virus, for instance. Uh, or a gene that would sterilize the mosquito. We really want to take this technology and move it to any insect or arthropod of interest. Penn State has been a great place to do this. Um, I'm in the Department of Entomology and I've got multiple collaborators on this grant that work on different insect systems. And having this broad expertise available at Penn State uh, is really the, um, why we were able to pull this grant together and actually make it as powerful as we think it's going to be.